And that's recorded. Oh, I think it's very good for the person in the But I was wondering if it was too much. Don't talk too much. Prepare in a video. There are one or two little things which are are good about that and one or two things that are not good about it. Um, these are the tracks of the heavy guns, the four heavy guns that they brought with them. They towed them up through to the horizon that you can see and then they aimed, their aiming point <coughs> was Brown Willie, seven miles distant. And this caused some, some reasonably uneasy days for the moorland farmers who lived in between. However, there are quite a lot of pop marks on Brown Willie, well, so one assumes that they were reasonably accurate with their, um, with their firing. Um, one little story that I'll give you is that Lillian Davy, who I interviewed about something entirely different, was telling me about uh, a young American uh, officer who stayed on their farm. And although she was a married woman, she did confess there was a little bit of a mental attachment. And she knew within 48 hours when they were leaving because he came to the farm door and he said, um, I've got a little gift for you. And that was almost a sign that they were on their way. And he gave her a bottle of scent. And she said to him, I won't open this until I get a letter from you after the war to tell me that you're safe. And that letter never arrived and that bottle of scent was never opened and it was still on her, on her dressing table the day that she died at the age of 86. So they came with plenty of food and these people were pretty well, apart from what they were producing themselves, the staff would do. And they exercised a short surf policy when they left. And, and they, they excavated a, a great deep trench around one of our hills here. And they put down every piece of equipment and every tin of food punctured that they, 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 they weren't to take with them. And, and that was orders from on high. The men, the men who did it, were as distressed as the as the moorland farmers who would have enjoyed a tin of peaches or whatever. Yeah. And it's left a bitter taste right to this day about what happened.